This is a demonstration video of the Danset Stereophonic Record Player. I'm just going to show you how to use it so that you'll be familiar with it when you receive it. When you receive it, the first thing you'll need to do is to screw down the two transit screws on the record deck located here and here and screw those all the way down fully clockwise so that the deck floats on its springs. The matching speaker simply plugs into the socket on the rear right hand side of the machine. On the front, the four control knobs from left to right you have tone, on off, volume and balance to separate the sound between the main speaker and the extension speaker. On the deck the speed control is on the left, start stop on the right and the size of the record is automatically detected. So you can stack between one and six records, I'll demonstrate with two so that you can see how it plays. Just pop the records onto the spindle ledge and put the stacker arm across, select the correct speed and then flick the right hand switch all the way around to start the auto changer. And if you want to skip to the next record, just flick the right hand control knob all the way around again. So I'll just demonstrate with the start of a 12 inch record as well. When you stack a 10 or 12 inch record, the white lever here is the size detection arm. So you need to make sure that the record is stacked above the white lever like so. And that's so that the playing arm knows to land in the correct position. And of course the arm lifts off automatically at the end of the record. If you don't want to use the auto changer and you just want to play one record manually at a time, you can just pop an individual record on down the spindle onto the mat and then select the first option on the dial here which says manual and that will start the turntable turning and you can then place the arm onto the record yourself. Once the arm is on the record and it's playing, carefully lower the stacker arm down like so, so that it knows to switch off automatically at the end of the record. If you leave it playing with the stacker bar in the upright position, like so, that will trigger the repeat function, which is for 7-inch records only, and it will replay the same 7-inch record over again until manually switched off. So I hope that covers everything, but of course if you do have any questions when you receive it, I'll include my personal email address in with the machine, and that is the quickest way to contact me.